like heathens. You're not heathens, are you? No, uh, no. If only I had more time to read. If only I had more time to... What are you reading? The Liber Regulae Pastoralis, the pastoral care. Pope Gregory I wrote it more than 500 years ago. We've made a few copies, some even in English. Prior Philip wants all English priests to be able to read their tasks and duties as well. If you want to look around, better be quick about it. <laughs> Fake miracles. <laughs> if I make a mistake, it's your fault. I can't concentrate if you're breathing down my neck. If only I had more time to... I'm looking for a book by Ovid. Oh, we saw some in Shiring and in Winchester. There are also a few copies in Salisbury, I believe. Which ones are you looking for? The Amores? Have you heard of that? Uh, that was one of the copies in Winchester, I think. Did you read it? Me? I... I, I don't remember. He did. Just a page or two. Sounds like the right book, and Winchester's not far. I should tell Ali what I found out. You're not heathens. Come on, Jonathan. Let's tell Ali what I found out. Ranulf of Chester and his half-brother stole Lincoln Castle from Stephen. At least this is a chance for us to take it back. For us? Who is us? The whole of England is strangled by new taxes and torn apart by this senseless quarrelling. Senseless quarrelling? You still think I'm just playing around? No. I put my life at risk, Ali, for you and me. This isn't a game. I, I know that. Do you? It's an honor to be one of the King's Knights. An honor that costs a lot of money. Oh, now you broke it, Jonathan. There's someone at the door. I'll be right back. Oh. Go play. Jack. Hey. So? Yes. What brings you here? I... Do you have a, a visitor? Are you jealous? Everything all right there? Uh, yes, it will just take a minute. Sorry, but... My brother is waiting. He has to ride back to Shiring soon. Ah, I see. All right. I just wanted to tell you that I found out about the book. What book? Oh, Ovid. You were still looking for that. Of course. Why wouldn't I? I don't know. I, 
It just feels like there are so many problems right now at the construction site. That reminds me. Could you tell Philip that I've come up with an idea how he can pay the workers? Oh. Uh, how? I'll buy up all of his wool and sell it on the fleece fair myself. But I need to go to Shiring first and get the money. Uh, all right. Um, I'll tell him. By the way, they have a copy of the Amores in Winchester. Oh? I think I know someone who might be able to get it. But first we need to make sure Philip gets his money and talks to Percy. Who? Percy Hamley, the Earl. Percy Hamley, the fat oaf. Congratulations. Everybody heard you. So what? They're all bastards. I think I should be going. Oh, all right. See you later, Jack? Of course. Bastards. <laughs> You're going to have to forget that word really quick, little brother. So for them, you've got money, Ali. So you were eavesdropping on me. Great. That deal with Philip will help them and us, Richard. Robert of Gloucester is advancing on Lincoln as we speak. Tomorrow we will ride from Shiring. And what I need from you is money for a new sword and a gambeson. And I want my shield painted in Stephen's colours. Is this leading anywhere, Richard? You've been doing this for years now, and has the King ever considered making you Earl of Shiring? Not yet. But I fought side by side with him before. He knows my name, Ali. Oh. Oh, all right. I will meet you in Shiring, and I'll bring the money. Father Philip. Yes? Aliena says you can pay your workers. She has enough money to buy up all the Priory's wool and sell it in Shiring. And that way, you get your money earlier. Really? But you have to accompany her to Shiring. She has to fetch the money first. The sooner the better. I have to talk to Percy Hamley anyway. Thank you, Jack. Now you better get back to work. Tom wanted to talk to you. Oh. Once the west side and its towers rise above the Priory, it'll be even more impressive. Only a few more years. What I'd give to build at least one of the towers. Yeah, if I talk to Tom now, he'll insist I stay at the construction site and work. Am I really done out here? Jack! What? <sighs> Come here, please. You wanted to finish your corbel and I let you. But you didn't even try. I wanted to. Instead, you pick another fight with Alfred. You mock him in front of others because he can't read. You throw ants at him. You hit him. And don't tell me he started it, because everyone else told me you started the fight. Sub Prior and me just told me you disturbed the monks in the scriptorium. Philip told me to practice reading. The Bible, not the kind of book you were looking for. Then you go and waste your time in the cemetery and the market, and in the kitchen, and chatting to the Fullers. I made a balm for them. I wanted to help them. You should have been working instead. 
Don't you know how close we are to shutting down the construction? If I'd not planned ahead, it would all be over now. But how am I to plan ahead if I can't rely on you, Jack? What? Watch out! Whoa. <sighs> Are you all right? Yes. Up here! Hey, hurry up, quick! <sighs> What's going on here? Your son thinks I dropped the stones. You were the one who pulled them up, weren't you? Of course. That is my job. He was probably angry because he might not get paid. Alfred, stop it. What? Peter, what happened? I I'm not sure, but there was a monk. He was wearing a black robe, and when he saw me looking at him, he ran away. Maybe it was him. Him. A black robe? Are you saying this was my fault? No, no. I I'm sure I didn't recognize him. He wasn't from here. No. Peter dropped the stone and doesn't want to admit it. I assure you, a monk would never do such a thing. I don't believe him. I saw a monk in black, in the market. Oh, did you? I was there too when you were. Tell us, what did he do when you saw him? Uh, he almost stepped on a few chickens. Wait, Jack is right. I remember now. There was a monk there, and he went into the cathedral. I'll go up front and look for him. You check the back. All right. Where did he go? Uh, I don't see the monk by the mill. I bet he went to the bridge. to you, monk. Mother! Jack? He's not a monk! He tried to kill me! You did what? Please, I... I know you. You are with them. Did they send you? Please, let me go! What did they send you for? Tom Builder! I was sent here to kill Tom Builder. Tom? What is going on here? Take heed. I know you. I know your face. Tell them that you succeeded. Tell them that Tom Builder is dead. What? Tell them, or I will find you. Uh, yes. Speak up, or I'll put a curse on you. I will tell them what you ask. Please. What the hell? What was that? Why did you let him go? He was after Tom. After all these years, it's happening again. What is? Just tell Tom to stay low. If we're lucky, they'll think he's dead. Why don't you tell him? I'm the reason they're trying to kill him. It's my fault. What? We should never have come to Kingsbridge, Jack. <laughs> 